Let, let's. We got Timory right here, right now, ready to go. She's got something to do with us today, and here she comes. She, she. For those of you who are the Denver fans, I'm sorry, I'm I'm wearing a Seahawks. Uh, Try not to be conspicuous. I, I really go with the team, the colors I like. I don't really go for the rest of it. So yeah, we go with fashion. We don't. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> You know my Is that what you call it, big cat boy fashion? <laughs> <laughs> Just so I understand the definition. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the true love because I look terrible. In- la, 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 Oh. Uh, are you ready for me? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, hey, guys. Hi. Now that it's, <laughs> now that it's 2014, uh, marijuana is legal here in Colorado. Um, And I thought I should let you know, just in case you've been too busy smoking recreational pot to realize that it's 2014. We're almost a month in, and uh, Colorado still has a healthy supply of Cheetos, so we're looking really good so far. Yes, I'm moving to Colorado. (laughs) Actually, I don't have (laughs) I don't have a whole lot to say on pot. Sadly, I have even left less to say off of pot. Or Adderall. <laughs> or Viagra. <laughs> oh, speaking, on, of people, who, speaking of people who are probably smoking pot, did you guys know that Philip Rosedale's new company, High Fidelity, um, his new virtual world project is looking for alpha testers? I signed up because uh, I don't already spend enough money and time buying, or, uh, buying and organizing pretend things. I also applied. (laughs) I also applied because I want to be a pioneer, but I'm too chicken to apply for the Mars One project. Uh, Have you guys been uh, Have you guys been uh, keeping up on that? Um, The selection of people for Mars One, the human settlement on settlement on Mars. Uh, I guess the first mission launches in 2018. Could you do that? Leave everything behind and never return. Kind of like the morning after one night stand, only with Earth. <laughs> as long as I have Wi Fi, I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the applicants on the website, and most of them are American and male. Uh, come on, guys. Uh, Hillary Clinton won't be that bad, I promise. Uh. <laughs> most of the pictures seem to have been taken on web cameras which just made me imagine the day that mars is populated by the offspring of ok cupid rejects <laughs> now i uh, i do have somebody who should have applied i have no idea if he did or did not um not only would he be able to deal with the shortage of women on Mars, but he's demonstrated some building skills that would make him very valuable to the crew. Haley, uh, go ahead and look away. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, looking away. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Behold, uh, the, guy, the guy who made this do-it-yourself real doll. Uh, um, I, I, I drew the... I, I drew those little panties on in Photoshop uh, to preserve her dignity. Oh, my God. That has dignity? (laughs) If you look closer, you can see that uh, it comes complete with interchangeable faces of female celebrities who've done ads for CoverGirl. Oh, my God. You know what I think about this? I think that's a lot of work to avoid leaving your house. (laughs) Yeah? also think I know what some of you are going to be doing this weekend. And um, if you if you want the un bikini pantied one, just just I am me. Oh, okay. oh God. <laughs> uh, you, know, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to be doing this weekend? Watching the Super Bowl, obviously. I'm really excited about the game. Um, I'm glad I'll be watching it from inside and not at the stadium. It's going to be so incredibly cold. Um, but I heard that to help with the cold temperatures, they're going to be giving out special gift bags to all of the tic- ticket holders. Supposedly, supposedly, the bags contain items like hand warmers and a neck gaiter and a Times Square hooker. All right. Uh-huh. To, keep, to, keep, to keep them warm. <laughs> Don't be perverts. Oh. Of course, they say all okay. the ticket prices are dropping because of the cold, which means I should be able to go to afford 
uh, to be able to afford to go to a game as soon as they hold the Super Bowl on Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> I I also heard that it's going to be so cold for the game that people in New Jersey can already see Janet Jackson's nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been accosted by Girl Scouts yet this, this year? Thank heaven that my niece is a Girl Scout. They don't come around here anymore. I got a court order. <laughs> hundred yards away. <laughs> yeah. It's that time of year, and uh, I'm so glad I no longer feel obligated to buy cookies and then find a million ways not to eat them. Um, of course, if she was selling cookies this year in Denver, I'd probably just have her stand outside the local pot dispensary. I'm pretty sure she'd finally get to go to camp. <laughs> or a fish concert. Or fish concert. <laughs> What else is going on? Well, um, it's almost Oscar time. Yeah, I'm not that excited about it. Uh, honestly, I don't see that many movies. I'm sort of picky. I'm not a chick flick kind of girl. I don't like sad movies. I really only go to the movies for sex. And only sometimes do Jeremy and I even bother to look up at the screen. Also, I don't know if you guys heard, but this week in the Journal of... Consumer Psychology, they published a study called The Benefits of Retail Therapy, Making Purchase Decisions Reduces Residual Sadness, which means I must be the happiest woman in all of Second Life. Hey. Hey. That's all I've got for, for tonight. Shopping cheers me up. Yeah, Haley. <laughs> Haley, speak up. Yeah, you're running close second, Haley. Yeah. Oh, good. 